20 years ago, the Park City School District bought this piece of land, figuring their community was going to grow and they'd need more space for students. The current administration says that time is now. We've held on to that property waiting for that future change, you know, knowing that this facility is continuing to age. This will be the third time Superintendent Dan Grabaska has asked for a bond. The first one seven years ago was a building remodel. It failed, I think, by about 53 or 54 votes, so it was really close. The second one we did was six years ago, and it was a little bit different concept, and that failed miserably. This will be the largest of the three. The money will build a brand new 7th through 12th grade school on the new property and remodel parts of the existing building, which will house the K through 6 students. The keys are bigger classrooms. They are built in the 70s at six to 700 square feet, um, which is pretty small when you're putting 30 kids through that. And a much larger gym, with the Panthers moving up to Class B in 2023. We have a seating of 350, 400 for our gym, you know, and they all have the 1,500 to 2,000 seating. So it would be about a 900 to 1,000 seat gym uh, is what we're looking at. But right now, there's not a lot of business in our community, you know, it's, it's all houses. You have a slot? Right there, yeah, you bet. Gordon Hershey dropped off his ballot to the school Monday, eight days ahead of the May 3rd deadline. And he's always had the same concern. I voted against them. And can I ask the reasons? Because it increases my taxes. If passed, the bond will cost a Park City homeowner with a $200,000 home $529.15 per year for the next 25 years. We're getting taxed to death. Hershey admits Park City is growing as people look to move away from state urban centers. Several subdivisions that are homes are being built all the way around my, where I live. But I think there's better ways that we can do this rather than the, the property owners. We don't have the luxury of having a refinery or something like that in town to help out. But Grabowska is more confident this time than ever. We've gotten lots of public input on developing the ideas. So it's not just this small committee or just the administration or the board creating it. You know, it, it's been a, a lot of public input. I just know that it's up to the voters and, and I don't have a whole lot of say in that other than to provide as much information as I can. Right. But you feel... Feeling good. Feel good. Yep. In Park City, Casey Conlon, MTN News.